And I promise to spend the rest of my life making you as happy as you made me yesterday. Don't you just love it when things work out? Yes. And they're about to get a whole lot better. My wedding gift to you. Venice? A suite? Yeah, it's only for a couple of nights, I'm afraid. I hope you're not too disappointed. Of course not. How could I be? Well, every bride deserves a proper honeymoon, and you will get one. Until then, I hope that this will suffice. Thank you so much. I really don't deserve you. Really? We need some time together, just the two of us. I've already packed, so I suggest you do the same while I sort out a couple of loose ends. We leave in the morning, hmm? Must be like winning the lottery. This joke of a wedding is the gift that just keeps on giving. Lawrence could have walked away, but he chose not to. He chose to marry me. Your chin on fire with stubble rash from Andy Sugden's beard. Because we love each other. And it's going to take more than one stupid night with Andy to change that. He knew, and he still put a ring on your finger. We started again when we made those vows. He is the only man for me for the rest of our lives together. You can trust me, Chrissy. His heart's safe with me. I'm sure Dad would do that for you. You wait till he gets back. <sighs> I'm an independent woman, Chrissy. I can carry my own bags. I suppose it would be a bit obvious doing it here. I've no idea what you're talking about. It'd be much easier when you get to Venice. I mean, he's got a bad heart. All it would take is a bit too much exertion and suddenly you're the merry widow. That's just one step too far. Admit it, Venice. You didn't marry my father for love. I love him dearly. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it, knocking off your ex the night before the wedding. I made a mistake. You slept with another man. I did something wrong and I can't undo it. But all I can do is say how sorry I am from the bottom of my heart and hope that we can move on. My dad deserves better than you. You're just rinsing him, clinging on like the desperate little parasite that you are. Like Robert did to you. How much, Bernice? I'm sorry. It's all about the price tag to you, isn't it? Go on, name your price and I'll pay it. As long as you leave tonight and promise me that you'll never come back. Robert may not have been able to keep it in his trousers, but I can. Not that I've got anything to keep in my trousers, but if I did, I would. Because your father is the best thing that's ever happened to me. He's decent and honest and I love him to bits. And if you can't deal with it, then I'm afraid it's your problem. I couldn't agree more. Dad. Lawrence, I'm so sorry. Darling, could you give me a minute? I'd like to have a quick word with my daughter. Gone too far this time, Chrissy. I'm trying to save you from making the biggest mistake of your life. She's talking about me. Right. She's annoyed because Lawrence is taking me to Venice tomorrow. Nice. So, you slept with Jimmy then? Hmm. And now he knows about Dubai, thanks to Gobble Almighty Laurel. Sorry, what about Dubai? They called it uh, public indecency. Nicola. Oh, it was the worst experience of my entire life. I've been traumatised by the whole thing. It's obvious what she's after. Dad, I love you. I, I don't want you to be unhappy. Then accept who I love and why I love her. But she slept with another man hours before she married you. You did? In a manner of speaking. I have forgiven her, so why can't you? Bernice is my wife now. She's a part of this family, whether you like it or not. So, if you can't live with that, you know what you can do? Dad, you wouldn't... You are either with me or against me, Chrissy. Your call. Nicola, how lovely to see you. Would you mind pouring me a glass? Thank you. 